Welcome back to the Technus Corner y'all. It's your boy Seb Luca coming at you thanks to my PC, X217. Stepping in due to myself harboring a croaky voice and in turn being under the weather. We have some juicy news pertaining to upcoming GPU releases both from AMD as well as Nvidia. Although, before we begin make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel as it's a free way to show your support and not miss out on anything or everything PC tech related. With that said, let's go boys and gals as NVIDIA has announced the launch of the RTX 4060 and RTX 4060 Ti graphics cards, starting at approximately $300 and $400 respectively. AMD is also rumored to release the RX 7600 at a similar price point. While the pricing is not as low as in previous years, considering the recent pandemic and inflation, the new NVIDIA cards offer improved performance without a significant increase in price. The RTX 4060 Ti, launching next week, offers improved performance compared to the previous generation's RTX 3060 Ti. It delivers up to 70% faster performance with DLSS 3 frame generation and up to 2.6 times the performance of the RTX 2060 Super. Although the jump in rasterization performance may not be significant, given the current market trends and price increases of other graphics cards, the RTX 4060 Ti offers a good balance of performance and price. There are two versions of the 4060 Ti, an 8GB and a 16GB variant. The only difference between them is the memory configuration. The 16GB variant costs an additional $100, which some may consider steep, especially considering the potential launch of a high memory card by AMD at the same $399 price. A fairer additional price would have been $75. It remains to be seen whether 8GB of memory will be sufficient in the long run. AMD is rumored to be releasing the RX 7600, a mid-range GPU that packs 8GB of VRAM, has 32 compute units, and operates on a PCI Gen 4 lane. The card's compatibility with older generation motherboards that currently operate on PCI Gen 3 will limit its performance potential. However, if it can achieve a performance closer to 200 FPS in games like Apex Legends at 1080p, it would be a significant upgrade for an affordable GPU. The successor to the RX 6600 has a lot riding on it, as AMD aims to compete with Nvidia software and extra features while maintaining a competitive price-to-performance ratio. That about sums it up boys and gals, it was an honor, and thanks to tuning into this week's Overclocked on Tech report at the Technus Corner. Presented by yours truly, X217 on behalf of my user and script writer, Sibluka from the Technus Corner. Goodbye y'all, and for now, peace.